Hi everyone, my name's Joanna. I'm going into my fourth year in the Sauter School of Business at the University of British Columbia. So I chose UBC primarily because of its location. And here in the city of Vancouver, you have a great balance of ocean and mountain. And the city itself is quite big and very, very diverse. So there are lots of opportunities you have um, throughout your undergraduate degree here, especially career building upon graduation. And of course, a, good, a big city um, would hold lots of social events that you can take advantage of throughout your undergraduate degree here. So as for the program itself, um, Sauter has great profs, especially at the 100 and 200 level. And the faculty itself is quite small relative to the other faculties on campus, um, which can be great for building a really good community, establishing connections and building your own little network. And because it's a small faculty, you have lots of resources and support at all times. However, on the other hand, um, the faculty and the program itself is quite competitive. So you will sort of have that feeling in the back of your mind as you're going through the program. Your first and your second years will generally be easier than your third and your fourth. And in these two years, you do lots of case studies, case analyses, and as well as presentations, whether individual or in groups. However, they're usually in groups and it's something that you work on throughout the course of one semester. So the evaluation, uh, the rubrics that you're given are usually quite clear. They're quite concise and exact. However, the program does have a pretty strict zero tolerance policy for late submissions, um, unless it's something that you've discussed with your professor about previously. And as you might expect, the teaching pace is quite fast compared to high school, but of course that depends on your own high school curriculum. But not to worry because there are lots of TAs and professors who hold office hours, which are like, uh, optional tutorial times that you can go to to ask questions and clarify class concepts or even just to chat. To succeed in this program, I would suggest building really strong skills in leadership, communication, which um, includes public speaking and pre presentation skills. I would also recommend analysis skills, critical thinking, and teamwork skills. The program breaks down its content into four years, of course, and in the first year, you learn a lot of the basic knowledge, you set the foundation for the years to come, but there are two key courses you take, which will be statistics and mi micro and macroeconomics. After that comes your second year, and that's where you learn a lot of the introduction courses for the third year specializations. So in your third year, you register for your specializations, in your fourth year, you finish the courses for those specializations and you take a capstone course. I think the content of this program is really suitable for people who like to go a little above and beyond in the things that they do. Um, people who like to form new relationships, make new connections, meet new people, all of that. Definitely for people who like to think of themselves as a go-getter. And of course, if you like problem solving, um, if you enjoy identifying problems within situations and formulating a solution, I think you might find this program quite exciting. When it comes to the application process, the program looks at three main things. So the first is your high school GPA, the second is your personal profile, and the third is your video interview response. So for the high school GPA, it's looking for something around the mid to the high 80s. However, the competitive average usually falls in the low 90s. Next, for your personal profile, this part is, it sort of consists of some tell me about yourself type questions. However, I want to stress that this part is extremely important because the program wants to look for students who can add value through their personalities, through their extracurricular experiences, um, as well through their interpersonal skills. So this part, I would say, is arguably almost as important as the grades. And then the third year video interview response, you will be presented with one or two pre-recorded questions, then which you get some time to think and your response is then automatically recorded and collected. So my advice for the application um, would just be to really make sure you proofread your personal profile answers, put some time into that, and then of course, don't stress about the video interview. They just want to see that you are able to um, organize your thoughts and then present them in a comprehensive manner. 
Thinking about the prerequisites, I would say in high school, take statistics or economics if you can, if your high school offers it, because as I mentioned, they are heavily covered in your first and your second year here. And another important course is calculus. So that's something that you are most likely to take in your grade 12 year. As for the courses within the faculty, everyone's skill sets are different. Some are better with quantitative courses, some are better with qualitative, but for assessments and qualitative courses, your marks will generally be a little lower because they use an average benchmark in the low 70s and then grade everyone around that. So that's, um, they use relative grading. Whereas quantitative courses, your assessments, your answers in your assessments will either be correct or incorrect. So you are able to score as high as you prepare for. Now, when it comes to course registration, you every student is assigned a registration time, but your registration time will be dependent on how high your GPA is. So the higher your GPA, the earlier your registration time is. And so then you get your first pick in your courses. And that's why it's really important. It's just another add on to why you should really keep your GPA up. Upon graduation, you really have so, so many opportunities. The job market is quite extensive um, for this industry. However, of course, it really depends on your specialization, whether you choose finance, HR, marketing, it all really depends. However, one very, very popular one is consulting because this really is applicable for any field and not just in the business industry. However, this one, it is quite competitive. So lots of people will do um, preparation and extracurricular things before they apply to these roles. So the next thing that takes me to are internships and internships are very, very important because they are what gets your foot in the door. It's what opens you up to the opportunities. And of course, if you do well, you are open to the possibility of receiving an offer for to go back to the company and work full time upon your graduation. And as you will get to know um, the whole job application, job searching process is very competitive. It's very difficult, very time consuming. So getting an internship should be very, very high up on the priorities list. Depending on the company, um, recruiting can start anywhere between four months prior to the start day to one whole year. So typically banks and the big four accounting firms will hire one year in advance and then mid-size and smaller companies will hire one semester or four months in advance. So thinking back to my own first year experience, I, I lived in residence and I really enjoyed it. So I definitely recommend that especially in your first year, if you have the opportunity, stay in residence, you'll meet so many people. And I definitely think it adds on to the overall university experience. However, UBC in first year, there are three residences and they differ quite a bit from one another. So they're randomly assigned and the best you can do is just try your luck, have your fingers crossed that you get Orchard Commons. That one is the newest and it's definitely the nicest. Thinking about the party culture at UBC, um, UBC is a really fun school. There are always parties and events going on every single week, multiple going on at the same time all throughout the year. However, I don't think we are classified as much um, with a party culture as some other schools in Canada, maybe such as Western University. All right, and then in UBC itself, the most popular area on campus, I think, would be the Nest. And this is a student life building where um, you can grab some food. It's a great place to hang out, to study. Um, and of course, there are lots of club rooms throughout the building. UBC is a very, very diverse university. So even the city of Vancouver itself is very, very diverse. And in campus, in the school, we have lots of international students from around the world and of course, from around the country. So um, inclusion, diversity, services and programs are very, very big on campus. Speaking of which, in the Sauter program, our Commerce Undergraduate Society has services that promote inclusion and diversity, such as CUS Pride, CUS Clarify, and sexual prevention services. Biggest thing is to just stay organized at all times. So have an agenda, whether that's a physical copy or a digital copy, 
you will have so, so many things thrown at you all the time and you are more likely to miss deadlines if you don't write these things down. So I think organization really sets the basis to academic success. Next, I think, is to really connect with your professors and your TAs. Establishing those connections can really help motivate you in your coursework. It can be really advantageous. Aside from that, I would say apply to clubs as, execu as an executive. So this way you'll meet so many more people. You really get experience taking on more responsibilities. And of course, it opens you up to more opportunities.